Hi everyone, this is Azaruddin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. And also check out my Instagram where I post regular case details. Welcome to the scientific series of muscles. I am going to start with uh, gluteus maximus. Why this muscle called gluteus maximus? Because it present over gluteal region and it is one of the largest muscle over that region. So it called gluteus maximus. Attachment proximally it attach over the posterior iliac crust and posterolateral sacrum and coccygeus. Distally attached over the iliotibial band and ischial tuberosity. Next, functions. Functions I am going to divide it into two parts standard mover action and reverse mover action. Standard mover action means with muscle fibers are moving towards insertion to origin. Reverse mover action means muscle fibers are moving towards origin to insertion. First, I am going to explain the standard mover actions. First, primary action is Gluteus maximus helps to extend the hip because if muscle fibers are running somewhat vertical oriented direction so if we pull this muscle fiber it helps to extend the femur at the thigh second action is lateral rotation Gluteus maximus attaching over the iliotibial band in the somewhat horizontal and oblique direction so if you pull the muscle fiber in this direction it helps to laterally rotate the femur over the thigh Third and fourth action, abduction of the thigh and adduction of the thigh. I'll explain how it abducts the thigh. Proximal one third fibers helps to abduct the thigh. Distant two third fibers helps to attack the thigh. Proximal one third fibers are running in a oblique and vertical oriented direction. So if you pull these muscle fibers, it helps to abduct the thigh and distal two third muscle fibers are running in this direction like horizontal in this direction so if you pull these muscle fibers it helps to attack the thigh then we will move into reverse mover action primary reverse mover action posterior pelvic tilt these muscle fibers are running in or into insertion direction if you pull this muscle fiber in this way in this way it helps to posteriorly tilt the pelvis so, it also helps to posteriorly tilt the pelvis. Next, we will move into whom upper muscle fibers have one line of pull in oblique plane and lower muscle fibers have one line of pull in oblique plane. So, if upper muscle fibers are contract, it create one motion called extension, abduction and lateral rotation of the hip. And lower muscle fibers create the motion of extension, adduction and lateral rotation of the hip. So eccentric function of the gluteus maximus is restrain or slows the flexion, medial rotation, abduction and adduction movement of the hip joint. Next we will going to see isometric stabilization work of gluteus maximus primarily to stabilize the pelvis and thigh at the hip joint and also it stabilizes the knee joint gluteus maximus and tensor fascia lata both muscles attaching over the iliotibial band iliotibial band crossing the knee anteriorly so theoretically it have to extend the knee tensor fascia lata and gluteus maximus attached over the IT band IT band crossing the knee anteriorly so it helps to IT band helps to stabilize the joint anteriorly with the help of these two muscles Third stabilization function is stabilizing the subtalar joint. How it stabilizes the subtalar joint is gluteus maximus helps to laterally rotate the femur. When you stand, you contract the glutes, it helps to laterally rotate the femur. So all the forces are rotational forces transmitted over the talus. Talus transmitted the force through the subtalar joint helps to supinate the foot. So it prevents excessive pronation over the feet. Additional action is glutes maximus also helps to horizontally abduct the hip. If hip is flex 90 degree, if horizontal pull happen in the glutes maximus muscle, it helps to horizontally abduct the hip. 
and also T E T three it can extend the knee because it connected over the iliotibial band. Iliotibial band crossing knee anteriorly. So those connections helps to extend the knee. Relations to the other structures, gluteus maximus is a superficial in the posterior pelvis, so it covers the gluteus medius, minimus. Superior camelae, inferior camelae, pyriformis, and skin tuberosity, quadratus femoris, so many deep muscles it covering by so many deep muscles. And gluteus maximus attached to the thoracolumbar fascia and forming the posterior oblique myofascial line. We'll talk about this myofascial line in future videos. Finally, moving to key points. Key points are uh, proximal. Uh, Superior muscle fibers of gluteus maximus also crossing the ilium and sacrum. So it crosses the sacroiliac joint and it also stabilizes the sacroiliac joint. The second key point is gluteus maximus action is lateral rotation of the hip. Tensor facial lata action is medial rotation of the hip. So both muscles attaching over the IT band. So we can consider these both muscles have an opposite. Side action also. Third key point is gluteus maximus is largest muscle in the human body. Fourth key point is it can also extend the knee. Fifth key point is it can stabilize the arch of the feet also. Hope you have understand. Don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching.